Bromley History Centre. My name's Keith Wright, Director of the Centre and Director of Genealogy. We're based here in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as the Mormon Church. Well, let's all come in and have a wee look at what we do here at Foyd Family History Centre at the tools and resources available for everyone. Here in this cabinet we also have the um, birth, marriages and death in indexes for all of Ireland. Now this goes from 1845 right up to 1958 which includes the part that of Ireland which is now known as Northern Ireland as well as Southern Ireland. We also have the marriages uh, relating to all of Ireland and deaths as well. Here as you see is the 1864 a uh, civil index of everyone that was born in Ireland in 1864. Uh, in Here in this cupboard we have microfilm reels that uh, include birth, marriage and death for certificates for all of Ireland which includes Donegal and Derry, Stroke Glontonderry. Now we have marriages starting from 1845 to 1870. We have birth certificates stating from 1864 to 1881 for all of Ireland, but we also have birth certificates for counties Derry, Tyrone and Donegal dating from 1900 to 1913. We're the only centre in Ireland to hold these microfilm certificates uh, on those counties in the 1900s. We also have the, the death certificates from 1864 to 1870 in all of Ireland. Okay, in this box is uh, the microfilm reel from 1864, which relates actually to Derry, Donegal, and parts of Tyrone, Volume 2. This is the births that happened in this area. So basically, when, when you take out this reel, this will actually have the books, the photocopied of the original books that uh, you registered your births from. This is the a certificate that I just actually put in for an example. This is actually a birth certificate of uh, Donnacilty in County Donegal. And here we have everyone that was born uh, on the 11th of June in 18, uh, 1864. And on the Irish birth certificate you will find the Fowler's name, where the Fowler came from, i.e. could be townland or city, or an address and also the mother's name plus her maiden name and what the father's profession was who registered the birth uh, of this child and the date that the birth was registered. Okay. Uh, to start with Family Search we have a lot of computers here for the members of the public to use. We have desktops, we have a Apple, Apple computer for the users that would like to use the Apple uh, computers. We also have over 20 laptops so if you're a group or a society and would like to come as a group and society, a youth club, a school, we can also cater for these with our laptops. And again, every website that you access in the centre will be free, which includes familysearch.org, which you can access from home as well. Again, a Foy Family History Centre, if you would like to do your family history, your genealogy on computer, we have various websites that you can use. One website which is totally free, no payment required, is familysearch.org. Here you can search worldwide, so if you have family that immigrated to anywhere in the world, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, America, South Africa, you can trace them on Family Search. As I say, it covers worldwide with the map here, and all what you do is just drag your mouse, click to the area that you would like to uh, research, and if it's the United Kingdom and Ireland and you're looking for Ireland, just click on Ireland and everything that is recorded in Ireland, we have 23 collections recorded, will come up. So you just highlight the air, one of the areas here that is listed. Now, if you see a camera uh, beside the records that you would like to research, it means that there is an image available for, for that record. Unfortunately, you can't access the images from home. You would have to visit your local family history centre. Also within the Foy Family History Centre, you can access premium websites for free. 
Yeah, that's true. Premium websites for free. Uh, websites like Ancestry.com, FindMyPast.co.uk were all accessed through the Family History website portal uh, for free, no charge uh, whatsoever. There's also the genealogist. There is uh, what I find very interesting for the American research, especially American Civil War, is Fold 3, because there were Irish people that went to fight in the Civil War of America. We also have the 19th century British newspaper, Digital Archive, for free as well, whereas if you access it without the centre, you would have to pay for all those websites. We have 21 websites to access free within the centre. Here in this corner we have our, our reading books on genealogy, local history and uh, stories of the area. Here I'm holding in my hand a who's who in Northern Ireland dating from the 19, uh, 1967. This is also good for genealogy because if you are a, a person of interest it will kind of uh, tell the story of your family, you know, who you married, who's your children. So it's another modern way of researching genealogy. We have books on Donegal, on Derry. We have uh, books of people who were killed in the First World War. I also have a book on the County Donegal, a uh, book of honour of all the Donegal men who died in the Great War, 1914 to 1918. Foyle Family History Centre also has a, a lot of Derry uh, Street Alamacs, always known as London Derry as well. Now these Street Alamacs is invaluable for people doing genealogy and tracing their family in the, the Derry, Milton Derry area, as it, uh, it, it dictates who lived in what street at any given time. So basically here in Abbey Street we have a list of names of all those who lived in that street. And it's invaluable as well because you can pinpoint your own family that came from Derry, London Derry into a time, a time frame which helps when you're trying to look for birth, death or marriage certificates because then if you find your family there you can also find them here and tie a lot of things together. They start from 18, uh, 1868 and we have them going up to 1964. We don't have every year but we have enough to piece together the succession of families. Well thank you for visiting the Foy Family History Centre. We do hope that you will drop in at another time and, uh, uh, and let us know how you're getting on with your family history and if there's any questions you would like to ask you know where we are so just Drop us a call, a phone number, email, call in as we said, and you'll be made very, very welcome. Foyle Family History Centre works closely with Monray Ulster Scots Heritage Centre just outside Carrigans in County Donegal. So if you're visiting the area of County Donegal, why not pay a visit to Monray and even Foyle Family History Centre up in Derry, London Derry.